this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna be tidying up my car and organizing it a little bit. A lot of you guys know that I'm staying in the Northeast for the winter and I'm actually staying with one of my friends. I have my own room, my own bathroom. And one of the things that I wanted to do while I'm here for the winter is like actually unpack my car almost completely. So I'm still gonna be keeping things in here that I would use while I'm in the car or my camping supplies and stuff like that. But besides that, most of the rest of my stuff is already in the house, which is like just something I haven't done in a really long time. But so right now my car, you know, still has some stuff in it, but I definitely wanna organize it. And then in a future video, I'm actually gonna like deep clean it. I literally went to Marshall's today. I'll actually show you what I bought. I went to Marshall's today and they have a bunch of like cleaning supplies there. And I bought a bunch of stuff, um, but in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit more organizing, throwing some stuff out, seeing what I have, seeing what needs to still go inside and seeing what is going to stay in the car. So if you're interested in this video and just hang out with me while I organize and tidy up my car, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so first of all, my lips are always dry and I literally put like three lip products already on today. We're gonna to do chapstick first. This is the raw sugar one from Target and then some sort of lip gloss. I have this lip oil by Kosas. I don't love this. Like I wouldn't repurchase it, but like I have it and I'm gonna use it and it's fine. So what I'm gonna do first is just show you what my car looks like now. It's a mess. That's how we're cleaning it. This is my front seat. So here's a couple jackets, my purse, my phone, my Marshalls bags that just went there. And then back here, like I think this is gonna be staying because this is all like my, if I'm gonna be sleeping in my car stuff. And while I might not be doing that because it's about to get really, really cold in the Northeast, um, I'm still gonna keep it in here because I might still be taking some road trips where I might be sleeping in my car. So I'm also gonna keep my camping supplies in here just cause I mean, they'll fit and I don't need them in the house. And if I do go camping, I would have my car probably anyway. So I'm gonna keep all my camping stuff in here. And then I just have a couple other things there. I'm definitely gonna still keep my snacks. And then in the trunk, let me show you. Okay, here's my trunk. It's very messy, obviously. Um, it's a lot of my camping stuff some hats, a jacket, some cleaning supplies. All of this stuff, or most of it at least, is going to stay. I just want to have it organized. And so I might take one of the little organizer things that I brought in the house. I might put it back in here. I'm not totally sure yet, but for now, this is just what it looks like. Okay, and I'm recording this like early mid-November. And yes, the car is on with the air conditioning, even though I'm in the Northeast. We're just having one like very warm day. It probably is going to be like the last day that it's like this warm. Um, so that's why I'm in a tank top and the air is on. But anyway, all right, so let's just start with the front seat. I have, this is a ripped bag, but it'll, no, we're gonna get an actual trash bag. So I keep all of my trash bags like right down here. Any like plastic bags I get, I throw them back there and I use them for trash. So this is trash because it's ripped. I know I should recycle these, but it's not happening right now. Oh, there's still a sip of this left. You guys, these polar seltzers are very good. I'm just letting you know, the lime one is delicious. I think I put this in here yesterday, so it's probably still good, maybe two days ago. Uh, it's been fine. It hasn't been like hot overnight or anything, so. And I like, and you might not think this because it's a seltzer, but I like that they say gluten-free on them. That makes me happy. Okay, I have a receipt for Target. That's gonna go over here. So, I'm gonna show you something. This is where I keep my receipts in there um because i save all my receipts however i do have something in the back so i'll show you guys in a little bit just like a bag that i hold all my receipts in for the year because i do use them for taxes and stuff but just like when i get a receipt i put it in the door and then every once in a while i take all the ones that are in the door and put them in the little bag the bag is probably very full by now because it's november and i save all my receipts but anyway okay so in here let's like you don't need to see me you need to see what i'm cleaning okay how's that angle fine Okay, so this is a North Face like sweater, sweatshirt thing, jacket, sweatshirt that actually one of you guys sent me years ago, probably like six or seven years ago. And I love this, still have it. I use it a lot when I am like camping and stuff like that. So I am gonna keep this in the car. I don't know if I'm definitely gonna keep it here, but this is where I usually keep my jackets. I usually keep them up here, but obviously I brought them in the house. I know, it's so weird. It is so weird. Even though there's still a lot of stuff in here, it's very weird for my car to even be this empty. Because even when I've, you know, been staying with friends and family this year, and even a couple years ago when I lived with one of my friends, I still kept a lot of my stuff in my car. But this time I was like, I want to empty most of it, just to see, you know, a little experiment of like having all my stuff in the house. Anyway, but when I'm in the car and traveling and road tripping and whatever, I have all my jackets just hanging right here. Not all of them, but the ones that I might use hanging right here. So for now, I'm going to put that there. I might end 
end up folding it and putting it in the back, but we'll see. All right, so this is another jacket. Um, this is from H&M, I believe. Yeah, H&M, like a year or two ago. It's a denim jacket, obviously, but with like this lining. So I'm just gonna put that up here too. I know there was another jacket in the trunk, so I should grab that too. Okay, so here are some t-shirts that I have that generally I would either wear for pajamas or I would use to cover my windows at night if I'm sleeping in my car. So I just did, again, even though I might not sleep in my car in the next few months, there's a chance that I might. And so I just wanted to keep some stuff that I would use in the car. So I'm gonna put these in this bin in the back, just, you know, in case I need them to cover the windows and or use as pajamas. This is just a shirt, this needs to go in the house. This is like a long denim, like long shirt thing that I got from H&M, I think last year. I'm just gonna make a pile on my dash of the things to bring inside. Oh, my receipt thing is up here. That's weird. It's usually in the other thing over there. Anyway, this is my little receipt thing. I got a pack of like four of these from Amazon. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. But um, yeah, I just have a different color basically for every year. And so I'm going to put my receipts in here. I'll just do that right now. <gasps> you guys. I don't know if I showed this to you. One of my videos when I was just in Charleston a couple months ago, I went to Charlestown Landing and there was like a little zoo there. And in the gift shop, they had these little paintings. You guys, a bobcat painted this. Is that not the cutest thing? And they have bigger ones too. This is the smallest one. Obviously I like to get things like this that are small so I can hang them on my ceiling. Maybe not obviously, but that's what I like to do. I like to have small pictures and stuff so I can hang them on my ceiling. But look how cute. Her name is Shishka. She's a bobcat who was trained to paint at Charlestown Landing. She used her paws and a paintbrush to create unique masterpieces. Is that not so cute? I was just reading the back. That's adorable. So I'm gonna put this on my ceiling, but uh, it was just in my little side door thing. But oh my gosh, I don't know if I showed you guys that. I thought it was the cutest thing. Because when I went there, I wanted to get a little, you know, a patch or a pin or a sticker or something. When I go to places like that, I always like to get a little souvenir. But I saw that and I was like, oh, I definitely need a bobcat painting. That's so cute. You can't even see this. I don't even know. Come on, Katie. Okay. That's the last of them. Let's see if this will close. Oh, yeah. Easy. All right. So this is for our seats. This is a very cool sunglass holder that I got. Hold on. I don't know what angle is good for you guys. I'm sorry. Very cool sunglass holder. I'll have this linked in my Amazon recommended. I'm going to, I don't know if it's going to be before or after this video, but I'm going to do like an Amazon favorites. But for now, I do have an Amazon storefront. And so I'll have this linked below and in my storefront. But like, it's a little travel sunglass eyeglass case. That was very, very cute. So I keep a few of my other pairs of my Glasses USA glasses. I keep a few pairs in here and then I have a bigger case for some other ones, but I like keeping this in the car just to have some sunglasses and other pairs of glasses because I like to switch them around every once in a while. Okay, so here's another jacket and another jacket. All right, cool, all my jackets are in here. Um, I might end up, again, I might bring one or two of these inside, but for now, we're just gonna put them up here. And then here's my garbage. Here's my first aid kit that I actually will probably keep in this little bin that I was talking about. And in here, I don't keep a ton of stuff, but I have a bunch of bandages, alcohol, wipes, ibuprofen, which I can't take anymore, but I guess if anyone else needs it. An emergency blanket. I have some Tiger Balm and some tape and some scissors um, and some gauze and stuff like that. I need to put a new like tea tree oil in here and a new aquaphor in here. I know I just got a new aquaphor, but I don't know where it is right now. But yeah, so that's what's in here. So I'm gonna put that in that bin as well. This I got, okay, <laughs> I know this looks like a dog toy. I actually got this to see if like it would help with my anxiety. Here, I'll talk to you for a second. You know how a lot of people have those like little fidget toys? Um, I've tried some of those and I don't really like them, but this was like at the dollar spot at Target a few months ago. And I'm like, let me try and see if like doing this will help. But then I lost it for a while. So, <laughs> or like it was just in a bag and I didn't know where it was or whatever, um, but I found it. So I haven't really like tried to use it yet for my anxiety, but I just was, I don't know, you kind of never know what might calm you down a little bit or whatever. So I got this, it's just like a rubbery, I think it technically is a fidget toy. I don't think it's a dog toy. <laughs> I think it is like a human fidget toy. I'm gonna still keep this in the front and just, you know, next time I feel anxious and wanna try it out, I'll try it out. Okay, so then my purse is here too. I have a pair of glasses that I'm gonna show in a video soon, so I'm not gonna show you that, but there should be two pairs of these. Oh, here's the other one, okay. All right, so those are there. What's in here? 
All right, here's another pair of my sunglasses that I have shown before, but I'm going to put these in here. I still do save some cases just in case I wanna throw a pair of sunglasses in my backpack or something, but I still like to have the majority of them in this. Or again, I do have a, a second bigger one just because you guys know I've worked with glassesusa.com a ton. And so I do have a lot of glasses and uh, also just some extra sunglasses and stuff that I've collected over the years. And so I do have another bigger case that I think is in the back somewhere. Um, but like, this is a really nice case. So I'll probably just keep this anyway. So I will keep that in my glove compartment. Okay, so this for now is gonna go right there. Let's see what else. What is this? This is... Oh, this is when I went to Mammoth National Park in Kentucky. This is the little map. And I like to save these. But where I would put this, I already actually brought in the house. So I'm just gonna put this in the little bring in the house pile. And then what else is on the floor? I have a reusable bag, but like a really big one that my comforter came in. These are just some jeans I need to return at uh, to Amazon, actually. So that I'll just put up there for now because I just got to return those. And then the only other thing on the floor is just another bag of garbage that I have not thrown out yet. And then again, I'm going to do like a deep clean soon, which I'm like really excited about. Let me just show you this and then I'll actually go through the, the things that I bought at Marshall. But the front seat is done and then I'm now going to do the middle part, but let me just show you. Okay, so that's just a bag of trash. And again, going to deep clean this just in another video. Here is the other bag of trash. And then, so the only thing that's up here right now is my purse and then these glasses that, again, I need for another video. So I will just keep those up here. And then a little eyeglass cleaner thing that I'm going to put in my glove compartment. And then in here, this I'm going to hang on the ceiling. This I'm going to hang on the ceiling too. This is by my friend Tate Nation. He was in one of my videos from like a couple months ago. He's one of my dad's friends. My dad met him years ago, but now he's become my friend too and he's an artist. And this is my favorite painting of his and he made it into like a little size for me. Like it's like a copy. Oh, that's upside down. I just noticed. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't looking at it um, in real life. I was just looking at it through the camera and I didn't notice. This one's called Heaven on Earth. It's my favorite painting of his. And so he like printed out a smaller copy and laminated it for me. Isn't that so sweet? So I'm gonna hang this on my ceiling as well. And then down here, I have my hand sanitizer. I need to refill this, um, but I like to keep that here. So I have this little hand sanitizer, it's almost empty, this one. And then you guys know, I have a big thing of working hands in the house, but I just bought this one to keep in the car because I love that, it like saves my skin. A couple of you guys recommended that to me like two years ago because my skin is so dry and that literally like saved my skin. So the other things down here are another pair of sunglasses that I will put in that little blue thing. Um, a scrunchie that I probably will bring inside. I'm also gonna bring these inside, these clips, because these are just very summery clips. And I probably won't really use these for now, so I'll bring these inside. I might bring one or two uh, more neutral colored clips in here. Gorilla glue I'm bringing inside because I have a little like craft corner now in the house, which I'm excited about. And then some Band-Aids, a hand wipe, I'll leave it up here. Um, what is this? Oh, a lip gloss. Patrick Ta. And these are just some bracelets that I made. Aren't they so cute? And then a lip gloss. That actually I might just leave in here. That's from Physician's Formula. This little pocket thing over here, I keep some like chapsticks and I'll just put my lip gloss over there. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna clean out these last few things and then I'll be right back. Also, yes, I do have salt from In-N-Out Burger <laughs> down here. Um, I'm gonna put this in my food bin. I have a little, this is like a pencil box that I keep some stuff in, some mustard and sugar, whatever. So again, when I like deep clean my car, I will properly clean that out. But for now, I'm just gonna keep that hand sanitizer wipe there because I'll use that at some point. And then I have two little scrunchies and I'm gonna keep this little thing down there. And so for now, that's good. So now this is just what the front looks like. What is this? Oh, tissues. Always keep tissues, but this feels empty. No, there's one left in there. So I'm gonna just put that there. This. I'm not entirely sure we're gonna keep this yet, but for now, like that's totally good, just for now. And then here's my phone charger, obviously, my Bluetooth and stuff. All right, so that's good. Okay, so honestly, I think I'm gonna split this video up into three because it's already getting long and I know the back seat's gonna take a while. So I'm just gonna finish up the front really quickly and then probably end the video and just kind of separate the back seat and the trunk into different videos. But anyway, all right, so that is trash again. This is stuff that I bought to clean that car. I will go through that really quickly in a second. And then over here, I think this is pretty good. Um, here's some tape. I know that might be a weird place to keep tape, but that's where I keep my tape and my scissors. 
And then I also have some tissues over here as well. So that's already been like that. It's been like that for a while. I know where everything is. So that is good. There's nothing in there. It's just already needs to be cleaned. Over here, um, this stuff does not need to be in here at all. So I'm gonna clean that out. And then down here, there's a couple um, like letters and bills and stuff. And then I like to keep like a fork and a knife down here. I have a little notepad and I have an external uh, battery pack. And I have my salon paws, these little like pain relieving patches. So I have that down there. So just when I get back to the house, I'm just gonna take out these bills and stuff or whatever's in here. I don't even know if it's a bill. I think there's just like a letter from a doctor or something. And then just like a couple other papers that I'm just gonna bring inside. And then the floor. <laughs> Uh, that's all trash and my shoes my shoes are not trash here's a knife that is in its plastic still so that can go in there and the rest of this I'm just gonna pick up and throw out trash 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 all right look at that and then up here I have this is for another video don't look at that this I need to bring inside this I need to hang up again these few things fell and I need to hang up again because you guys know my ceiling has all these pins and patches and pictures. But sometimes when I'm grabbing something or I'm moving something, especially since I had just had so much stuff in my car, sometimes I'll knock something over. So this was this. So I just need to like pin this back up kinda. I don't properly pin them. I just kinda like lean them in like that, but I need to fix that. There was something else here, but it fell and I don't know where it went. I do wanna kinda rearrange this anyway. And I really just hope that when I deep clean my car, I can find the couple pins that have fallen. I already did do a video showing you guys all of this, but I do want to reorganize it. So if you want me to do that in another video, let me know. Otherwise, I will just do it and then show you when it's done. This is one of my favorite pins. I Heart Mondays. I love that one. And I'd rather be in Montana. Oh, I miss Montana. I didn't go this year. I miss it so much. And this is from the first time I went to Yellowstone, almost exactly 10 years ago. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to show you what I purchased at Marshall's to clean my car. I'll show you again in that cleaning video, but I feel like I've talked about it so much that I might as well just show you in this one as well. Anything that I can find on Amazon, I will have linked. So basically, I bought two of these Armor All sprays. I bought the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner and the regular multi-purpose cleaner. I bought the regular one kind of for the inside stuff and this one also says it works on fabric and so I'm going to use this on my seats and on the inside stuff. This one I specifically bought because I don't know the last time that my wheels were ever cleaned. Even like my gas tank thing, I don't know when that has been cleaned, you know? And so this is really good for, it literally says like garden equipment and tools and stuff. And so I'm gonna use this to kind of clean like the outside of my car a little bit, like some of like the hard to get things. And then also like when I open my door, all like the edges and stuff, I'm going to use this to clean. And so I did buy a giant thing of these multi-purpose towels. They're just like microfiber towels. I'm gonna keep some of these in my car to clean. And then I'm actually gonna just bring some in the house to clean my bathroom and stuff with. And then I also got these all-purpose scrub pads just in case something was a little bit harder to get off. Again, I also just really wanna clean like when you open the door, you know, like all like right here, just kind of gets grimy. And so I might use one of these for that. And again, I can bring these inside too. I can use these on dishes or just in the house as well. And then the last thing that I got were just disinfectant wipes for the car as well. Also Armor All. Everything's Armor All except for these that are smart design. And so I just got these two that I will probably just start, you know, using weekly on my door handles and my steering wheel and the little drive thingy and stuff. So that's what I got at Marshall's so that I can actually deep clean my car. I also do have a little vacuum in the trunk that I will use too. Yeah, I think actually I might just split this video into three because I think it's already 15 or 20 minutes long. And I know doing the backseat is gonna take like at least a half an hour. So I think I'm just actually gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed just like a really quick little tidying up of my front seat of my car. Really hope that you're subscribed for more car organizational things, obviously, because I'm gonna have a few of those coming up, but also a lot of travel videos. You guys know I'm in the Northeast for the winter, but the Northeast is so like compact and all the cities and towns and stuff are so close together that I am going to be traveling a lot while I'm here. And so probably Probably about half of my videos over the next few months are gonna be travel videos. Maybe a little bit less than half, but about half of them are gonna be travel videos. And then the rest of them are still gonna be, you know, stuff in the house, lifestyle stuff, and then just tips and tricks on living in a car and road trips and traveling. But yeah, I just really hope that you guys are subscribed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.